Today, we're going to investigate creating our own models to fit data. So, you have a table of the population of a town starting in year 1900 and going to 1980. We're going to create a table in Desmos by coming into Desmos, clicking this plus sign, and choosing Table. And then for year 1900, we're going to call that year zero. And we have... Um, 3.1 million people that year. And then our next year is 1920. We're going to make that 20, and we're just going to go ahead and fill out our table. We're not going to use 1900, 1920, 1940, 1960, because that just makes our numbers bigger to work with. So we're going to simplify as much as possible. So go ahead and take a minute, input that data, and join me back. So I've got all my data entered. I'm going to double check and make sure it's correct. It looks right. And I can see that Desmos has plotted it for me. And I think maybe that's a line. So I could ask Desmos to um, give me the linear model for this by typing um, Y1. Then I use the tilde key, which is um, I shift and it's the upper left key on my keyboard. So, tilde m x1 plus b. So, mx plus b is the linear model, and I'm telling Desmos to use y1 from this uh, column of data and y x1 from this column of data. And it shows me the line, and that's pretty good. Um, the equation of my line would be y equals 0.1355x plus 2.14 would be the model. And this is how well it fits. So the closer this is to 1, the better model you have. So this is 0.94. It's a pretty good model. Um, but it's not, maybe it could be better if I chose a different model. So I also notice that this looks like it is starting to increase more rapidly as time goes. So maybe it's a curve. And you know that um, exponential models sometimes fit um, population growth. So let's try an exponential model for this. And to do that, it's the same basic procedure. I'm going to say y1 tilde. And then my, for my exponential model, I'm going to have a, b, raised to the x1 power. Okay. And it is going to give me, um, it's going to do the computations, and my model would now be y equals 3 point, we can call it 3.0, times 1.02 to the x would be our model. And look at this. This fits much better. R squared is 0.9992. So this is a better model than 0.9433. You can see how this runs right through every point. So I think we can conclude that we have an exponential model, and this is the best way to model it.